all the grass has gone a bit yellow and dry. It's the driest it's ever been. More dust is falling onto roofs and cars and stuff. Not lots of rain, I mean, except for today. <laughs> Here in my Ponga, grey skies like this are pretty rare. It's been a really long time since people have seen any decent rain. For months, this part of South Australia has been going through a really serious drought, with some parts of the state experiencing record low rainfalls. Adelaide's had its driest 15-month stretch since they started tracking this stuff in the 1800s. And while the city's desalination plant is helping to keep the taps running normally, out in the country, things are tough. Some places have had to have water trucked in to fill up tanks. And paddocks that are usually green enough for hungry cattle at this time of year are dry. There's not much feed for the stock. Our farms can't get much water to grow things. We've had to go for showers and do our laundry at our nanas. It's a similar story for chunks of Victoria and Tassie. But here in South Australia, this hot, dry weather isn't just causing problems on the land. It's also triggered something pretty serious in the water. It kind of just looks like bubbles. And there's like a bit of like a weird colour in the water. You don't want to go there. So a few months ago, this yellowy foam stuff started washing up on the beaches of South Australia, along with dead fish and other marine life. It's been caused by a type of algae. Algae is a creature that's actually neither plant nor animal, but lives in water. Like plants, they make their own food from sunlight and turn carbon dioxide into oxygen. And they're actually a really important part of the ocean ecosystem. This year, the water off the coast of South Australia has been two and a half degrees warmer than usual, which has caused this particular type of algae to bloom. And all the algae is just polluting everything and it's just taking over. While the algae isn't known to be toxic to humans, it can be irritating to your skin and eyes. And experts are telling people to stay out of funny looking foamy water. You can get a bit sick from it. So try not to encounter the algae too much. When we do go to the beach, we normally don't go on the water because, like, you don't know what's in there. But for fish, the algae is toxic. More than 200 species of marine life have washed up. There's so many Port Jackson sharks and puffer fish and stingray. It's actually pretty sad to see all of the animals being washed up on the beach. Some experts are warning that we could see more algal blooms like this one as ocean temperatures rise around the world. As for South Australia, getting rid of this stuff will take some strong westerly winds, which will bring some cooler weather and hopefully more rain. It's a lot colder, which is good to see instead of just always being hot. It's still very pretty. Uh, that's the like only problem with the water and the algae. It's a really good place to live. <laughs>